think about visual art journals, paintings, assemblages and more? If you like it like I do, then you are right here. Hi, I'm Bea Grob and I love to inspire you. Hey everybody, welcome, welcome back to my studio. So glad you joined me today for another video. Now, I had to put this really large journal on an angle because otherwise you couldn't see the whole thing. No, it doesn't work. Anyway, uh, I was working in the Moleskine, in the Moleskine watercolor notebook, which has a nice paper. I do really like it, 200 grams per square meter or 135 pounds. And the size is uh, roughly 30 centimeters by 42 centimeters or 11 three quarters by 16 and a half inch. So it's the big boy. <laughs> so I must admit, I don't work so much in this journal, not because of the size, don't get me wrong here, but it is a moleskin. It was rather pricey. I mean, I don't think it's overpriced, but still I do, for those who follow me, they know I do work a lot in uh, altered books as art journals or I make my journals from scrap from scratch with scraps sometimes so yeah but um, it is done purely with acrylic paint and with some graphite pencil so it's not so much a mixed media pa painting uh, there's no collaging nothing like that just purely acrylic paint and uh, the graphite pencil sort of a still life i would say um, I read, lately enjoy doing sort of still lives, very basic still lives, and as always not really very realistic. I'm not into that. I can take pictures if I want to have it really realistic, in my opinion. Uh, don't get me wrong, I really admire those people who do those photorealistic paintings. It's just not for me. Uh, I'm expressive, more intuitive and uh, working fast and furious sometimes, just getting out what is in my head. Now, as always, it is a time lapse. And if you like those kind of contents, uh, I would really appreciate if you subscribe so you get a little bit more inspired by me. Also, a thumbs up or a nice comment is always appreciated. Now, take care. Till next time. Bye. Okay, so I did grab some colors. I do have mostly or Amsterdam, except this one. Let's start with this one. This is a Le Franc Bourgeois uh, Violet Pale. And they are just out of the screen. Then I have an Ultramarine Violet. For the background, I decided to use the Warm Grey instead of a Titan Buff. Then for my table, I'm going to use the Azor Orange. The vase and the cup I'm probably going to do in turquoise green. And then I do have a olive green light and a green, greenish yellow for my leaves. And obviously I also have some black and white to lighten up, to darken up uh, my colors. And I think I'm going to start right with my table. And I do use flat brushes. They are from Amsterdam. It's a size 8 and a size 18. And I think I start with the small one. Now obviously when you have a really large painting you use larger brushes. And I'm just gonna... I actually gonna use my tape to have a straight edge for my table. That was a little bit stinky, huh? Here, here, here. Mm, I think I'm gonna put it down here. I do like uh, visible brush strokes, so I go in first just along the edges. And then I do the crisscross motion.
Now, as you have seen, I have used a uh, number four flat brush for the branches here. And now for the flower, the lilac flower itself, I'm going to use a filbert brush. We call them flat round brush, but uh, yeah, it's a number two and a number six. As always with um, brush numbers, they are not the same in between different brands. I decided to add another color and that's a permanent red violet just to give a little bit of more variations and I'm now gonna also switch switch to the smaller brush but first I have to dry it What I'm using here is uh, the Nero Medium. It's an oil-based charcoal. It's just the style I like. Adding some sketchy lines. The color isn't dry everywhere, so sometimes I scratch into the paint. <clears throat> Especially on those places where I did add a lot of paint. Right now I'm there what I call an ugly stage. It's just the way it is. You just have to go on. There is always, in my opinion, an ugly stage. And don't forget, if it's really not doing the way you want it, there is always more paint you can add on top. 